Well my 74 Super Beetle air conditioning is actually gassed up and working. <laughs> imagine that. Just in time for summer. Although it's hard to imagine on a day like today that it's uh, only two weeks till summer. But anyway, um, I guess starting with the heart of it, uh, just a standard Subaru compressor. Um, my original donor car was a 92 Liberty or Legacy uh, so the compressor and it was designed for R12 so by the time I frigged around changing the oil, replace the shaft seal, replace all the o-rings, change the service valves, blah 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 it was just easier to fit a new compressor. Um, I picked this one up nice and cheap, it's a genuine uh, Subaru Nip and Denso one um, and it's designed for 134A so it was fine to just chuck in and gas up but I did have to get all the aluminium hard lines out of a 97 Outback because the R12 ones are different it's got the standard low side service valve there but because Subarus have the high side one up at the dryer uh, I had to put a universal one in there but it's big enough to handle a uh, large Subaru station wagon so a little Beetle interior cab with uh, only 20% window tinting is uh, no effort at all um, pipe works all just uh, flexible rubber refrigeration line uh, there's 10.2 meters of it all up so <laughs> That probably sounds excessive, but especially considering your average front wheel uh, front engine car has got five or less, but it's not out of the ordinary. All rear engine Porsches are like that, and the majority of tractors. That Sami Lamborghini there has got over 11 and a half meters of uh, pipework. Uh, pipework runs just under the sill with my uh, coolant lines up to the front where my condenser is. Uh, the condenser is just a J Air universal replacement for a um, Mitsubishi Express van uh, or Star Wagon standard wheelbase so they've got triple the interior space of a, uh, a Beetle interior so um, that's not even breaking a sweat. Just got a universal dryer with a sight glass and safety pressure switch. And a JR universal evaporator and fan in that enclosure. Uh, ducted in, same as the Super Beetle system. Return air through the glove box and supply through the fresh air. Um, box. It's not exactly a hot day today, it's only 20 degrees Celsius or uh, 68 Fahrenheit in old money. So, uh, see what it can do. The um, air off. Generally, you can get it with the thermostat set flat stick. Um, the air off can get down to about 4 degrees sitting 
steady at 900. And the airflow is okay. It's not great, but it does a job. It certainly makes it comfortable in here. Down to seven and seven point three Fahrenheit. Um, and one alteration I made over the uh, original system is it can be directed onto the windscreen. Those that don't know Super Beetles, these here are for the door glass. I get aircon out of that too. And should hopefully cut out soon because it's getting fucking cold in here. Yep, there it goes now. Ugh. The uh Engine management controls the uh, clutch for it. That's just so that uh, when you start the car up, if you've left the air conditioning on, the compressor won't start up for about five seconds just to give the engine a chance to start up and settle down. And it also cuts it out if you go full throttle. And um, just makes it rev up when the air conditioning's running. As you would expect, a uh, 150 horsepower engine doesn't even notice the air conditioning running. See the suction there's starting to ice up a bit because I've got it set so cold. Um, yeah, that's about it. See, it's probably getting down to about 4 degrees Celsius. That's with the thermostat flat stick. It'll uh, get the cabin temperature down to about 15 degrees Celsius, which is too cold to be comfortable. Yeah, that's about it.